Hello guys, in this video I am going to be explaining you about the techniques cryptography and stenography. Cryptography includes symmetry key encipherment, asymmetry key encipherment and hashing. Symmetry key encipherment It is a technique which includes a single key to encrypt and decrypt. As shown in the diagram, the sender and receiver firstly have to share the key, private key securely through a secure line or a trusted courier or a secret meeting. Using that key, sender encrypts the data into a cipher text. In the same way, in the receiving end, receiver decrypts the cipher text into an original plain text in order to receive the message sent by the sender. Whereas in case of asymmetric translation or technique is done, by, done using two keys. One is public key and the other one is private key. Sender uses its private key and the receiver's public key to decode the, to encode the data, whereas the receiver uses its private key and the sender's public key to decode the data and to get the original plain text. These keys and the plain text undergo encryption algorithm in order to get the cipher text, whereas in the receiver end, the cipher text and the keys undergo decryption algorithm in order to get the plain text. An example is given here using uh, allies and Bob's conversation using symmetric encipherment. In, the, in this example, allies is sending data to Bob. During encryption, Bob is allies is using Bob's public key and allies is private key to encrypt the data and getting the cipher text. In the receiving end, Bob is using his private key and allies is public key to decrypt the data to de decrypt the cipher text and get the Next is hashing. Hashing is a technique that creates a fixed length digest from variable length messages. That is, it converts a set of strings into a single length strings. The digest, whereas the digest is much smaller than the message. In this case, both message and the digest has to be sent by the Bob, uh, that is, the sender. An example is given below uh, of a simple hash function. Here, the first string is fox. And it undergoes hash fun, a cryptographic hash function and creates a digest. In the second case, the message is too big. The red fox jumps over the blue dog. It undergoes again a hash function and it creates 0086 blah 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 blah. And the length of the two digests are the same. Whereas the inputs are fox and the red fox and the red fox jumps over the blue dog, which is much more bigger than the first string. Hence, we can say that by choosing the appropriate hash function, we can make the hashing technique an efficient cryptographic technique. Our next topic is steganography. The word steganography is taken from a Greek words stegno and graphine, which means protected writing or covered writing. It includes text cover, image cover, audio cover, video cover, etc. In this video, I will be explaining about text cover and image cover. Text cover is covering the secret data by the, by the overlapping text. The text cover includes many methods in that the first method is using space between words that is use single space between words to represent binary 0 and similarly double space to represent binary 1. An example letter A uh, which ASCII value is 65 uh, whose binary value is 0, 1 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 can be covered by the text. This book is mostly about cryptography and not steganography. Here we can see after this we have one space which represents this 0 and after book we have two spaces which represents 1 and after is uh, there is a single space which represents this 0. Similarly we can further notice that all zeros are represented by single space and ones are represented by double spaces. The second method is use dictionary of words. If we have a dictionary containing two articles, eight verbs, 32 nouns and four prepositions, then we agree to use cover text that always use the sentence with a pattern, article, noun, verb, article and again noun. That is, if we have the minimum of this much values, then we are allowed to use this technique. First, we have to divide the given data into uh, chunks of 16-bit 
that is in that the first the uh, first bit is article and the next five bits are noun and the four bit is for verb and the uh, again the next bit is for the article and the last five bits are for nouns consider an example here a uh, secret message hi can be sent uh, by encapsulating within a message a friend called a doctor we can see that the message a friend called a doctor is of the form article noun verb article and noun where a is article friend is noun and called as a verb and so on so, uh, at first the message is divided into a 16 bit chunks of binary data and then it's divided into 1 bit 5 bit 4 bit 1 bit 5 bit respectively in order to store in article noun verb article and noun as clearly shown in the next technographic method is image cover this is similar to text cover whereas the secret data is covered by the image instead of text for this we use lsb technique that is least significant bit technique as we know the each image is made up of pixels and each pixel represents uh, the combination of colors as we know the image is made up of thousands of pixels changing the border pixels that too the least significant bits of the border pixels won't affect the image much here we are changing the least significant bits of the border pixels border the method follows changing the least setting the least significant bits of the border image border pixels to zero now hide the binary data in the image that is if the binary digit is 0 keep the bit if the binary digit is 1 then change the bit to 1 now let us consider an example hiding the letter m whose ascii value is 77 and uh, binary representation can be uh, 001 001 and 101 <laughs> uh, let's choose the border pixels as uh, pixel 1 2 3 and each pixel is of 24 bits in each pixel, the least significant bit of each word is replaced by the data which we need to send. That is, the letters which are represented in bold letters. That is, uh, 001, 001 and 101 which are the data we need to send. And hence, we can say that steganography is more efficient than cryptography wherein one cannot even make out whether the data is being sent or not. Thank you.